Hey guys, it's AJ with Everyday Patio again. Thanks for tuning in and everyone who's been subscribing and liking, it's really been great. Thank you for the support. And today we're gonna get right into it. So this is a roof mounted gable patio cover. Normally I could do a video on just a roof mounted patio cover or just a gable patio cover, but this is both. So it's kind of like a highly custom build. First off, we're putting the roof mount brackets on the house and then putting a steel beam inside those brackets to support that side of the gable. Here we're putting up the hanging channel and including the roof, the brackets into the house. So this is the steel being inserted into the three by eight beams that we're gonna use to kind of frame out the A-frame of the gable. There are the brackets put in the right place. And here I'm just checking level going that way on the gable and then the level going away from the house on the gable to make sure that we're attaching at the right height. Here we're sticking the steel back into the column and then inserting that in place so that we're ready to put the actual beam on top of it. And this is the steel beam being attached at the house and on top. We have a steel beam connecting each side of the gable and there I'm just checking level to make sure that the back or uh, the height of the post supporting the front end of the gable is the right height. There I'm putting the bracket and the height that we determined to be the right height. Here I'm just doing a little custom three by eight cut. So they had, he asked for a transition for that three by three back there. And that's the hanging channel ready for panels to go in and the gable to be built. And this is the first panel going up. So it's similar to how you would normally do panels on a patio cover, except you're doing it both ways. So normally you start with a couple on one side and a couple on the other. This one I'm running the electrical into the first panel, and then I'm gonna run the rest of the electrical at the end of the patio. But at least I have my lines run for the beginning. And that's the planking feature you see on the insulated panels. It gives it a more uh, kind of homey feel underneath. And this is us locking the panels together as we go. You can see in the middle of some of the panels, there's a metal channel or electrical chase. We call that a fan beam, but technically it's an electrical chase to be used for anything. Lights, um, fans, whatever you want to put there. And there I'm sealing the panels before we add the next one. And you can see the electrical chase in that panel in the middle and on this panel in the middle. So they're both, all the panels are sitting on that three by eight beam in the middle and then screwed in with uh, steel roofing lags. There I'm marking out where the fan's gonna be. So I'm kind of lining it up where that fan beam is. And this is the majority of the gable built. From this point on, it's more cosmetics and hooking up electrical. That's me putting on the fan bracket into the steel C-beam. And here's us doing the extruded wrap kit around the front. So gables are very site specific. Each, each one's different. So on this one, I'm, you kind of have to do some things as you go. That's the extruded wrap kit done, and now we're doing the ultra embossed uh, aluminum around the end cover. It's got a 30 year warranty on the paint, no chipping, cracking, flaking. So the whole, the whole patio cover is ultra embossed on this one. And here's kind of what the roof looks like before the final layer of sealant. You can see the roof mount brackets and then Matt right there taking off the excess caulking so that when I come through later, I can put on the final layer of caulking. Here's a little close up of me doing the electrical. And then we're finishing up the wrap kit on that side. And then I hot wired the lights to work that night so we could finish up some stuff. Here I'm doing a GFI on top of this column for some rope lighting that's gonna be going around the patio. You gotta make sure you have uh, old construction box and 
proper cover for that. And this is me hooking up the lights, the plug and the fan all at once. This is kind of the main junction for all of that. Again, if you're ever doing electrical, make sure to have a licensed electrician or someone that knows what they're doing doing this. Um, we're licensed to be able to do things like this, but you gotta, it's still electrical, you gotta take it seriously and make sure someone, a professional does it. So I'm putting the commons together, the grounds together, and then the hotlines in the right spot. It was 12 gauge wire, I believe, so 12.3 is what we ran through most of the patio, giving us a second hotline. And here again, because it's a gable, I have to custom cut some of these so that it fits on properly. You mark it out and then use your snips to do the final cuts. And there's the one of the last parts of the wrap get going on. Here I'm hooking up the dimmer and uh, the switch to the, the fan and the plug were on the same switch. So you can shut off the breaker when you do this, but it, as long as you're touching everything in the right place and using rubber, you're, you're gonna be fine. But again, an electrician knows most of that, so I would leave that to an electrician to hook up. Here we're putting in the downspout for the water drainage. And then the back side of the wrap kit. You can see where we kind of had to notch around that panel around the roof. And then here I'm putting on the final layer of caulking. So we had the first initial layer, we took it off, and then we're putting on this layer to give it a final secondary seal. And this is what the patio looks like done. It's a final walkthrough. You see the TV, the lights, the fan, everything hooked up, the downspout, and yeah, that fan's really great. I think the patio came out great. I'm thankful to have had the opportunity to build it. Um, thank you everybody for watching this video, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more content we're going to be around so we've been putting a lot of work into these videos we appreciate the positive feedback thank you and i hope you have a good day everyday patio out